G'day friends and welcome to our very last um, mail cards for August. Um, it's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. So today is our last share of um, creating cards for males throughout August. So throughout August, both Robbie and myself have been sharing cards specifically for the males. Some of us have a hard time creating, while others of us find it very easy. So that's the card, we, I mean, the card. The stamp set we're gonna be playing with today, which is um, Enjoy the Rhythm. Um, and we're gonna do the drums and Probably the happy birthday, so we'll see what happens. I'm not too sure how this is going to turn out, but we'll see what happens in the air. And we're going to be playing with the Artistic Mix um, decorative masks, just for something a little bit different. And I think we will go, let's do this one, eh? squares. So we'll bring in our kit. So we've, we've got a pumpkin pie base card, which is colour that I don't use very often, so I've sort of challenged myself. Um, pretty peacock. Couple of pieces of basic white. And I've got one that's a little bit shorter than the others. I don't know why I've got three pieces, but it doesn't matter. And we'll see how we go. So what we're going to do is actually... Now I'm just thinking we might do this... No. What we're going to do is stick this piece to a piece of basic white. So just bear with me. I'm just grabbing a couple of things that I have forgotten. So I want to temporary adhere this piece. What I've done, hold on, I'm just I can't sort of do two things at once. I'm not clever like everyone else. So what I've done is die cut a scrap of photocopy paper using the stylish shapes dies. And I've used the largest one. Okay. So And then I've just put a bit of adhesive on the back of this circle. And I'm just taking the excess off. Um, just by rubbing it over my shirt. Okay, I just want the excess off. I'll just better put those away before I lose them. Because I don't want much stickiness. So what we'll do is making sure our cardstock's nice and straight. And we'll put this up towards the top, I think. Now, I was going to case a card from the catalogue, but you know what? This is just as good. So, we'll put that down there like that. And what we'll do, just grab some sticky tape. Just put that over there so that it's nice and straight. I was going to do it um, a little bit crooked, but I think it might look okay. Just nice and straight. And then what we're going to do is just put a little bit of sticky tape around the sides. Just 
stick it in place and hopefully that will hold it. Okay, then we're going to bring in Lost Lagoon ink pad and our blending brush and we're just going to tap, tap, tap. I don't want too much to start off with. I always start off here on scrap paper and I'll bring it across without lifting the brush. Everyone's a little bit different as to how they do it, but this is how I tend to do it and it works for me. So we'll do the whole, we'll do the whole card. The whole piece of basic white, hey? just for to see what happens. We can always um, start again or we'll use bits and pieces of what we've already done. Now, I always hold my blending brush right down here. Everyone, again, is a little bit different. It may look like I'm holding it tight, but it's very loosely and it's just comfortable for me. You can hold it back here. Same thing, you'll get the same effect. You can hold it here and put your finger there, but I like this. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. Just very lightly. And I'm just going to take off the excess on our brush. Put that aside. We'll just finish with that at the moment. And carefully remove our mask and we'll take off the sticky tape at the same time and I'll clean this later on so don't forget to um, clean your mask I just put mine under warm soapy water so that both sides are clean or just the wet ones okay then what we're going to do is, I've had the sticky tape over the edge there, look at that. I wonder I wouldn't believe it, would you? I wonder if we can just fix that up a little bit. Save me um I've got any more left. Just save me chopping it off. I didn't even notice that. You probably did, but I didn't. <laughs> Whoops, I've got that wrong. Okay, let's start again. Let's just do this little bit up here. And let's do this side, eh? And fingers crossed we won't even notice. There you go, look at that. Easy peasy. We'll carefully remove this mask and we've got a nice big clean area. So now what we're going to do is ink up our drum, I was going to say our drum kit, but our drums image with, base, I mean, 
Memento Tuxedo Black. And what I should have done was re-ink this before we did it. But let's hope and pray it's juicy enough. And what we're going to do... Oops! <laughs> now, I'm going to bring this down a little bit so it might be out of eyesight for a little bit. And I'm just going to stamp this smack bang in the middle. And I'm pressing down a little bit harder than usual because I want this to really transfer. Ooh, look at that. I don't mind that actually. I was going to cut that out actually, but you know what? I think we might leave it like that. Let's do that, eh? Let's just leave it like that. And let's just put this, yeah, let's just leave it like that. Sometimes you just don't know. Um, now that I've got the glue on the back, I should have done this beforehand, but it won't matter because it's going to go through onto dark cardstock in here. So let's grab um, pumpkin pie. Um, Stampin' Blends and let's do a bit, bit of random colouring, hey? So what we'll do is we'll just do these, I think we might just do the small drums. So we'll just lay a little bit of the dark down first, just where Stampin' Up! are very good to us, they make it easy. They do put dark shadows in for us on our images, so that makes it so much easier to colour and blend. this side I think we're, I just wanted to bring a little bit of the pumpkin pie through to the front that's why we're using the pumpkin pie blends so that's one done two done how many have we got four okay we won't do this one we'll keep that like that is and we've got this one so the shadow will be under here so we'll just go under the top there and we'll just go to the side flick it around back with our light and just fill it in. Just like that. Easy peasy. If you don't have the blends you could always use um, watercolour pencils. 
um, blender pen even, um, a wink of Stella, lots of choices. So that's that, quite like that, just like that. Then we'll bring in our pumpkin pie base card and we will burnish along that score line and I did have those. And we'll stick this to our card, to our base card, eh? That just seems a little bit wider than... Um, I know why we've got the two pieces. I think I was going to put it onto a piece of basic white again. Well, it doesn't matter anyhow, that's what we've done. Then we'll put this piece to our base card. Now you don't have to put that extra piece of layer on if you don't want to, but I think it might just highlight and has to highlight it just a little bit more. Okay, so that's that. So what we're going to do is do our sentiment. So I've already pre die cut two shapes, Benner shapes, using a stylish shapes dies. And we're going to use the happy birthday. But I always cut extras because I'm not the best at stamping straight, to be honest. Especially when you're under pressure. Just prove me wrong, so just bear with me just in case we go out of eyesight. And fingers crossed, toes crossed, fingers crossed. That's perfect, except look what I did to the bottom. Again, honey. So cross your fingers, cross your toes. So just bear with me. with that. So we're going to pop this up, eh? And we'll just grab a couple of dimensionals. And we'll just put this, I think, about there, eh? Just like that. Okie dokie. And we've got to do our envelope and our inside piece for our card. So I'm thinking let's add a little bit of colour down the envelope. It's nothing to say that you can't do it. Oops. <laughs> I nearly ended up <laughs> that nearly ended up all over my face <laughs> okay so let's see how we go with 
get sticking down. I just want a little bit showy. It's pretty mask this it's lots of potential. I'm not going to worry too much with it um, having to be even. And that's it. There you are. That's our envelope. And then we'll do the same for our inside card, inside piece. Just so we can have a matchy matchy, eh? So we will. Same thing, I'm not going to stick it down. I'm just going to try and keep it straight with my hand. And then I won't push my luck. Yep. Pretty good. That's good enough for me. And then we'll just stick this, this to the inside of our card. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm thinking what we might do is finish it off with a little bit of bling, eh? So, let's go with um, gems. What gems have we got? Never find them when you want them. That's what I was sort of looking at there. I think they're pretty peacock. After Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia. Let's have a look. I'm going to have to write the colours on the back. I always forget the colours. Lost Lagoon, that's Lost Lagoon, and I'm sure this is Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel. So we'll put the Pretty Peacock on, eh? Oops. Pretty Peacock. That'll bring it... Um, Add a little bit more interest with the darker colour at the front again. One about, oops. I don't want that sort of, I'll put that back there. <laughs> and that's it. So that's your card for today. Now, don't forget, there's a link. Um, I'll have a link down below to my blog um, that you can click on if you want to um, 
download a free PDF tutorial and that include um, a list of supplies, measurements, along with step-by-step -step tutorial. And on my blog, you'll also have, I also have a link to Robbie's blog as well. So remember to click onto her, onto that link to see what she's created for today. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next month for something different. Okay, see ya. All right.